All right, we got our buddy Les with us today, and he just bought a brand new car. It's a, a European. It's not a European car. It's a Japanese-made car. Twenty-first century is here. The new. The new century is here. Okay, what is it, Les? The future. The future what is here. What kind of car is it? What kind of car? It's a Nissan Leaf. Time for <laughs> Pete Cosmart. Pete Cosmart. Pete Cosmart. Where even the littlest tech tips make a big, big, big difference. A Nissan Leaf? Leaf. Leaf. I thought it was called uh, Zero, uh, Zero Emission. Zero Emission, yes. All right, let's go look her over, bud. Mm -hmm. So is this like the first look at uh, the Nissan electric car? Yes, right here. Wow. See, where, where the, see? Yeah, Zero. I know it's a little dirty, but it's... Zero Emissions. Now, how many miles? Can we look at the motor? Yes. Can we at least look at that? You don't need to turn the radio on, Les. We already know it's got an electric radio. Let's well, check yeah. out the motor, bud. Yeah, we know the radio doesn't work off gasoline. Well, actually... Hold on, what's this, dude? You got okay, two hoods. Go. Yes. You got two hoods, not one. What's that? Hallelujah. Oh, so that's where you... Now, what is that for? That's the super duper charger. That's the super charger, like if you pull into a shopping center or something. Yeah. Hold on, but we didn't even look at that. Now, when you buy the car, does it come with a charger, or do you got to buy a charger for this your is house? A, this is an extra. Oh, well, that's an extra if you want to, yeah. like, stop at Walgreens or Walmart. Yeah. Now on the little charger there, does when you buy one of these cars, what I'm asking, do you get a charger with it? Yes. Right here, come on. You got the charger in the back. Yes. Do you carry the charger everywhere you go, or? Yes, right there. That's it. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. Well, but it would take 18 hours to charge it up. Oh, okay. So, so it's 18 hours. That. Okay. So. See how big of a trunk it is? Yeah, that's a big trunk. So when you're driving your car, how many miles are you getting before you need a full charge? 85 miles. You go 85 miles and you got to charge it up again. Yeah. Okay, what if you're stuck somewhere on the highway bumper well, to bumper traffic and you're fucked? Then what happens? Well, same thing as in the gasoline engine. What happens? But when 85 you get stuck? miles? Let's when you, look at the motor. When you, okay, when you Let's get look stuck, at when this you get, what happens when you, when you get stuck in traffic and there's no gas station? Wow. What, what happens? Well, what, hold on, I thought this was just one big giant battery. Yeah, no, no. So how many no, miles? There's a battery right here. Okay, so what's this? That's the engine, transmission at all, right here. Huh. So let me, oh, that's it right There's there. There's no huh? oil change, no nothing. All you have to do, the maintenance on this car, keep this baby. What about the antifreeze, bud? Where Ant does that go? No, no, antifreeze, that's for the cooling the batteries. Okay, because no, I, I don't even antifreeze know. Right yeah, there, I, I, no, the, the, the only maintenance you do is, is keep the windshield, battery. windshield wiper fluid okay. full. So, so you, don't you, don't want a, to, you don't want to get it. So you don't have a radio right on right this? Right here, right here. Okay. You want to make sure that this windshield wiping, that this is full. Okay. Otherwise, you will get stuck in the rain, and your your, your windshield uh, yeah, will be, be all dirty. dirty. Yeah. So other this than is that, other than that, zero, nothing. Okay. How many? What what size motor we got here, Les? What's the like uh, the horsepower? What have you? Oh, when you step on it? No. What's the horsepower of the engine? What's that? Is it a four cylinder, a two cylinder? There is no engine here. <laughs> there is no engine. It's okay. electric. It's an electric motor. It's a motor. It's yeah. got to have pistons and plugs. No. <laughs> no. It doesn't. No, it does not. Uh, when you step on it, you can. Yep. My Mercedes would not be Okay, keep go up ahead and start it up. Let's see what it sounds like. Go ahead, bud. Okay, we're getting the first glance at the Nissan electric car. Let's see what it sounds like. He's going to start it right now. Oh, yeah, it's running. I don't hear nothing, Les. That's right. Well, okay, hold on. I hear something. Okay, that's the electric fans that are working. So, do you have air conditioning yeah. on this? That's got air conditioning and heat. Yes. It's right that's here. A, wow. See, it's running. Yeah. Huh. So, what do you think about? You it? see, look at it. 85 miles. Oh, so 80, you just charged 85 it up. 85 miles. So you just charged it up. Now, does this yes. have a recycling service uh, charger on it? So when you're at a stoplight, it's yes. charging itself. Yes. When you hit brakes. When you hit the brakes, it turns yeah, it off. That's why, that's why you don't even have to change your brake pads. So it does. So it turns the motor off when you're at a stop. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you're not wasting your electricity. Yes. Huh. Now, how much does something like this cost, Les? 
Come on out here, bud. $22,000. $22,000 for a car that you can go 85 miles on. Now, hold on. I hear something. Is it running still? Yeah, it's running. Yeah, see? The motor is now running right now. That's it. Yep. Where's the exhaust headers at in the exhaust pipes? I don't see. No tailpipe. There's no tailpipe on it. Are you joking here, sir? There's no, uh, there ain't, there's no. This nothing. doesn't even have a tailpipe on it? Huh. Well, we can put a fake one. <laughs> you can put one on there. Yeah. Oh, okay. If I may. Oh, I'm like sorry. Here comes Weekly Loser to the rescue. It's like an electric drill. You plug it in and it don't work until you pull the trigger. Yeah. Okay, hold on. You just shut the hood and I don't hear nothing now. Nothing at all. Nice to meet you, guys. Thank you, Tony. And they also call it range anxiety. So how long is the cord on that charger so when you're stuck out in traffic, I mean, <laughs> how far can you stretch the cord to plug it in? Probably about 25 feet. <laughs> Have you ever been stuck yet? Have you ever been stuck and... I'll be calling you. You're going to call me? Of course. Yeah, okay. What do I call, what, mini for what? To yeah, go to the dentist, to, right? to, to go to the dentist. Yeah. <laughs> no, the transmission right here. Park. Reverse. Okay. And drive. That's, That's it. That's all it is. Does it, so it doesn't have like overdrive or nothing. It's just nothing, speed to nothing. go. Nothing. You just step and go. Now, how fast can you go in this thing? What's the max? 100 maximum? miles. You can go 100 miles an hour. I, I'm trying to break it in so I didn't go faster than 100 miles. You think it'll go faster than 100 miles? Yes. Of course if you it go, will. If you go 100 miles an hour, are you still getting 85 miles to a charge? Uh, probably not. So you like this better than your Mercedes? Of course. Handles better. The AC is better. Now on your Mercedes, what you now you got a big Mercedes. How much average of gas were you spending driving your Mercedes every day? About well, twenty-five bucks. You spend about twenty-five dollars a day on gas. Yes, and this costs uh, six, probably seventy cents to fill up. This is seven cents 70, to charge. 70. So seventy-five cents to a dollar to charge it up. Well, seven cents. But you got to sit around for a couple hours and wait. No, no, no. no. Well, no, you do your. Bookkeeping or whatever you do. Yeah. Now, do you got a map on your uh, phone that tells you where all the chargers are yes. in town? Have you ever had to stop at one of the chargers yet and hang out until it was charged? Have you ever had to do that yet? Yes. You have? Yes. I so what do you do? You just sit there and play no, with the I phone? Went to, or? No, I went to Costco shopping. Oh, okay. So you actually, so these places, there is actually chargers out there somewhere where you can plug them in. Yeah. Now, when you pull into these places, there are other electric cars that are charging no. up. So you're the only one on yep. the road. Yeah. I'm ahead of the curve. There's not that yeah. many of me. Twenty-two thousand. That's a good deal. Now, if you're going to travel like from here to Colorado, I'll probably fly uh, American. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's exactly what I thought. We'll see you later, Les. <laughs> Take it easy, bud. All right. So there you go. First look at the zero emissions. I hear the beep. I hear it, Les. Thank you. Goodbye. That's the zero emissions. And if you listen real close, of course the wind's blowing. You can't hear nothing. No exhaust at all. So is the electric car worth the money, the $22,000, to go 85 miles without a charge? I would say if uh, you were going to use it for commuting back and forth to work and possibly going to your local uh, grocery store, maybe uh, movies every now and then, yes, it's a good idea to have that car. But if you were going to travel somewhere, if you're a traveler or, uh, let's say, a uh, traveling salesman, for instance, uh, right now at this time, my friend Pete says, no, it's not a good idea because there's not enough chargers around town or around surrounding areas or maybe traveling down the highway uh, to actually take the car and do something with it like you would with your gasoline car. It's a good car if you're a city commuter guy. And uh, like Les said, it costs 75 cents to fill it up. But uh, as far as uh, taking it and being a family car and doing everything and anything with it, no. I believe that you still have to have a second car if you were going to own one of these cars, if that makes sense. This is Pete, my friend Pete, looking at the first electric car that my friend Pete's ever seen. Wow. To own one of those cars, you got to own two cars. One with gas and one electric. Are you really saving money at $22,000? Really? I don't know. I'll let you make that decision up and tell yourself and answer that question all by yourself. See you later.
Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.